Hello, I'm Tatiana Ten. Welcome to Sitting Pretty, the talk show that shines a light on the creative process and business success. My guest today is Nartana Holzweiler, an artist living and creating here on Koh Samui. Hello, Nartana. Hi, Tatiana. What are you doing today? Ah, uh, just doing a little mellow yellow afternoon painting. Want to come have a look? Yes, sure. Nartana, how do you start a painting? Mm, good question. How do I start a painting? Um, well, I stare at the white blank canvas for a while. <laughs> how long? <laughs> well, it depends how much time I have or how uh, patient I am that day. Yeah? But it can be uh, very many different ways. I could, uh, if nothing else comes, I sometimes close my eyes and just start doing lines without looking. So this way I don't have that immediate judgment that I'm doing something, you know, good or bad or mediocre or whatever. So closing my eyes could be a way of starting that. Another way would be to just uh, take the reflection, as I paint outside most of the time, take the reflection or the shadow of a tree that falls onto the canvas. You see like my hand now here, my head on that. You see that my, see my fingers on that, uh, so I would just do the outlines of that. So basically when you start painting, so there start is no idea, clear idea what no. you're going to paint? most of the time, 99% no. No idea? Unless I have a, 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 co a commission to do or, or I need to, you know, do something Which is specific. not a great thing for the artist to yeah. do anyway. So from, somebody says, yes. oh, I want you to do something like this and with these and those colors, so that would be different. But just for me, I start. And it could be sometimes uh, complete chaos in the beginning. Yeah? For example, this one, um, as far as I remember, I just started doing this without thinking, without stopping. Yeah? Just so letting the imagination running, yeah, right? Yeah, just, just brownish lines. Huh? That was first. Like she started up with these brown lines. And all these colors and all that stuff came much later. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, show you here. It's a little more figurative. I also started with I lines. I colors. Um, right. Does it have a name? Lines. Is there any name uh, for that? Oh, it's actually the wrong way around. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this makes it more figurative. I call yeah. it flight. F -L -I flight. Flight. F-L-I-G-H-T. Yeah? Interesting. Flight where? From well, from where? You know, it could be a flight, flying, or it could right. be a, a, you know escape type flight. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I, I, I leave that up to the viewer's imagination. Uh, but this again, you know, was just basically lines that I did very quite quickly. Ding, 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 a little bit detail there, and then the rest came later, the colors came later. Lovely colors. So that's in, in principle. Sometimes what I do, I just take a big old brush and do the whole canvas in maybe just one color with like a little bit, uh, with a second color mixed in just to create a background or a texture. Or yeah, I've a, seen it at yeah. our art lesson. And then, you know, slowly, slowly, uh, the canvas tells me what else is needed or what else can be done. Uh, what I like most about painting uh, is, is the freedom to do what I want. Um, not to have to follow any rules, not to have to be on time, Sometimes I think the only reason I became an artist is so I don't have to wake up early in the morning, which I do now anyway. But no, there's something about creating your own world, basically. And I really like my setup. I'm actually quite a clean artist. Most artist houses, you go in there and you might have noticed, I like to have things in order, even though it might not show in the painting. But um, I like the setup. I like to put here's the big brushes, here's the soft brushes, here the fluffy brushes, here the hard brushes, here's my red, here's my my yellow, here's my green, here's my blue. So I like to set it up just like a cockpit. And then here's, there's your screen, you know, your white 
canvas or paper, and then you start to create. And there's such a freedom in that. There's a lot of suffering in that too, but there's also a lot of freedom in that. Freedom of choice, you can do anything. You can destroy it, you can change it, you can transform it, you can be very gentle with it, you can be very rough and brutal with it. So you have actually an endless um, array of uh, possibilities at your hands, at your disposal, so to speak. Huh? Sphere is uh, recurring in all of your paintings. Is it coming from New Mexico? Nice words, spheres. I used to call them planets or circles. I did a lot there, yeah, in New Mexico. I must have done, I don't know, hundreds of spheres. <laughs> but uh, I brought one today. Yes. Maybe you can give me a hand. Yes, sure. A sphere, nice orange and blue, huh? Yeah. Love the colors. I, I can't Amazing. Even, maybe we'll tilt it a little bit. Yeah, that's a sphere. Nice, huh? Lots of texture in there. This is not done in New Mexico. Um, this is done here. In fact, I've been working on this is for years. Is it a sunset or sunrise? Up Tell to me. you. Um, uh, <laughs> whatever it is. It could also go this way. Let's try. It has a more of a yeah. rising effect. But then, of course, the lines yes. will go vertical. Yes. No. Uh, most of my paintings can be hung, actually, at least in two directions. That's sometimes, great. Sometimes in four. <laughs> One of my teachers used to say, uh, a good abstract painting can go all Absolutely. four ways. Agree. But uh, anyway, so yeah, uh, what can I say? Orange and blue, contrary colors with a lot of texture. I would say it's a sunset because it's a full, full color. Yeah, and but let's yes. turn it the other way. Still a sunset? Yes. Or is it like a sunset, sun falling? It's very strong color. Or like one of those balls going ding ding. Yes. Like a basketball, maybe. Mm. So, anyway, so yeah, spheres. Um, for me, the, the circle of all the geometrical forms, the circle is, the, to me, the most... Uh, Favorite? Yeah. Mine too. Natana, where is your art taking you next? Moving on to the next. Well, it, it's been a while uh, since I've been uh, thinking about getting away from the spheres or planets or circles. As they, they, of course, they draw a lot of attention and they're sort of easier to digest than just a wild abstract painting. You know? But uh, uh, I need to keep myself interested. I need to keep myself turned on. I need to keep myself um, inspired. So this is always the thing. When I get up in the morning, what is it that I can do new? What is it that I can do different? So that goes with actually any day, um, even within the same theme or within a certain repetition, there is room for uh, something new. Yeah. So um, I'm not really visual. Well, we here and there have glimpses of visuals of what a, a painting would look like, and and sometimes I don't know if a painting is enough huh? or or a square white thing. Um, sometimes I want to go larger, but I think I would have to move into a larger house. Or sometimes I just want to be more hmm, freer yet, yeah, in the expression. So uh, balancing that uh, sense of whatever it is, breaking out of the old and into the new, da da da. We all have that, you know. Want to reinvent ourselves and still balancing the. Um, you know, the survival, because you need to uh, sell things. I would say, I, I would like my paintings to be even happier, or I would like to even paint happier, I don't know how you would say that, than I have before. Freer, unfiltered. Um, with more love, carelessly. <laughs>